Uh, praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Kachakudash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom, salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting a good fight of faith and truth, in sincerity and wholeheartedly, Shalom to the Akwath, which is the women believers, Shalom to you, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. The warning been going out. The Lord have put men in the earth to tell you about the things that's about to come to pass. And the biggest stumbling block is life is still continuing on. You're still able to move here and there. You're still able to eat what you want. If you got the money, you know, you're still able to, you know, move around. Restrictions haven't happened yet. But when it does, when it does, and you ain't take heed to the warning. It said, he that being often reproved hard in his neck shall suddenly be destroyed, suddenly be destroyed and that without remedy. So when the Lord bring the judgment, he's not going to bring it lightly. He's going to bring it full force because men have been out here, especially our apostles for almost four decades now. Apostle Tahar is approaching his 40th year. And then you have the apostles who've been in this thing for 30 to 35 years. That's under him. So three to four decades, the warning been going out. Now, if you want to be fair, 2007, that's 17 years of the warning been going out. That's when the apostles came on YouTube. So 17 years, almost two decades the warning been going out about the mark of the bees, about Jacob's trouble, about famine, about World War Three, you know. So these things is about to hit and they get hit at any time, just like the pandemic hit at any time. I mean, hit um, at that time, the day before it was a regular day. The next day, boom, people panic buying, you know, everything, everybody in a frizzy frenzy. So. It said, a prudent man foreseeth the evil and hide of himself. So a prudent man, the Lord have put men down here, prudent man, prophets, prophets means to say before. So the Lord said before they spring forth, talk about the prophecies, I will tell you of them. That's Isaiah 42 and nine. So before the Lord do anything, he reveal of his secrets unto the service, the prophets, that's Amos three and seven. So those men got the secrets. And they also warning you about the things that's going to transpire. But as the scripture says, as in the days of Noah, so shall be the same as the same as the days of Yahweh shot, man. It says son of man, but it's talking about Yahweh shot. People eating, drinking and being merry. And that's what people are doing, you know. But he and it said in height of himself, but the simple passive on in our punishment. So. When the Lord start punishing because, uh, what is that? Stripes is for the back of fools. Let me see if I can find that real quick. I want to say it's 29 and 19 or is it Job 19 or something? I don't know. Let me see. What is this? A servant would not be corrected by words for though he understand for though he understand, he would not answer. Huh, I'm gonna have to look into that. Um let me try let me try Job. Maybe it's Job. But I know it's one in Proverbs too. Be ye afraid of the sword, for wrath bring up the punishments of the sword, that you may know that there's a judgment. So when these things start to come to pass, all right, when these things start to come to pass. That's when you're going to wish that you would have hearkened. So the warning been going out. I got to find it. Stripes, backs, fools. So 19 and 20. See, look at that. had it backwards. So the ju judgments are prepared for scorners. All you shit talkers out there. All you people who make light of the truth. And stripes for the back of fools. So let's let. Let me tell you something, you scoffers out there, right? You unbelievers out there. Do you understand that it have to be this way for you to fulfill the prophecies of this book? Somebody have to play this role. So you're not doing anything 
of your own will. This is just your lot. You thinking that, ah, them stupid ass Israelites, whatever, get money, I'm out here living my life. Like you supposed to, you supposed to be eating, drinking and being married. The scripture said that let the multitude perish then, which was born in vain. So your whole life is just a scarf down pork and cheeseburgers and fly here and go commit adultery and go to the club and drink and smoke like that. That's your life. All right. You ain't nobody special. And that's literal. You are nobody special. The celebrities of our people. So this scripture can't come to pass without everything that I just said. You're just fulfilling a lot. But the point of this video, the warning been going out. So you better take heed before it's too late. I got a close friend in the world that I love dearly. But guess what? He do not aspire to this truth. He do not care about it. If I even mention anything about it, he gets upset. That's why we don't talk as much, you know. But I can't help who I love. I love that man. You know what I'm saying? That's my brother. So, but it ain't meant for him. That's why I don't hate him. I don't got time to be giving my emotions to people that ain't supposed to get this. It is what it is. See you in the kingdom. See you in the kingdom. Because if you're an Israelite, you're going to be in the kingdom. You just got to be destroyed on this side. And the, and the destruction, it's not going to be something like that's going to be like quick. So people think they hear about us talking about America being destroyed, right? But they think it as there's going to be some nuclear missiles hitting and that's an um, instant death. The Lord said that you're going to be tormented in the presence of the lamb, which is Yahweh Shai, and the holy angels. When you're tormented, that means that it's an ongoing thing. It's not no, okay, I'm dead, missiles hit, I evaporated into thin air. No, the Lord is going to keep your spirit inside your body. But, but the warning been going out, man. And Lord will and I endure to the end. It said a wise man feareth and departed from evil. So that's a very self-explanatory sentence in this scripture. Very self-explanatory statement in this scripture. So that means if you're not departing from evil, you're the opposite of wise. Which means you're stupid. You're a fool. Matter of fact, the scripture says in uh, Psalms 14 and 1, a fool said in their heart that there is no God. Because that's the way that you walking. You definitely walking like it ain't no God. And it says, but the fool rageth, which means the plot. See, one thing about a nigga, they always conspiring to do evil. And, it, and not like, oh, I'm about to go shoot up a school or I'm about to go blow up a building or I'm about to go rob a bank. I'm talking about. Your whole life is centered around sin. You're scheming on other men's women. You're defiling your temple. You're eating whatever you want. Like you really a set up a dinner like and it'll be lobster, lobster, uh, 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 shrimp fried rice. And you know what I'm saying? And, and uh, pork chop this. So like, yeah, the rage means to plot. And where you're plotting, you're conspiring to do something. So your whole life is centered around sin. So the fool rage of and is confident and you confident in it because the reason that you're confident in it, because when somebody tell you, nah, bro, nah, sis, you shouldn't be doing this. You still continue. So you confident you have faith in your wickedness. So the prophets is out here. And that's why the Lord sent them out here to warn you, because blessed are your eyes. So we have the eyes to see, to foresee. The evil that's coming and we foresee it and then we also tell you about it and you're supposed to take heed but that don't happen so for they see in your ears for their ears so that's what so that's the um the gift that the lord have given the prophets and since we see and hear we go warn as the scripture says in ezekiel 3 and 17 go warn my people from me all right damn it's about to be three i gotta hurry up so um because this is what you need to understand for like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end and an end is manifest. That's all we talk about. We always do it. We always prophesy in the end of this society, the end of this kingdom. 
So if this kingdom is coming to an end, don't you want to have a favorable ending? Obviously not, because you're not repenting. And and what I really think is that a lot of people who who listen to the truth, they really just listen for entertainment. But when all hell start breaking loose, then you're going to want to want to call on the name of the Lord and try to get your shit together. But the Lord said in Proverbs one, he's going to laugh. He's going to mock when your calamity come, when your destruction come as a whirlwind. The Lord is going to laugh through us because we're the ones who are going to be saying, I told you so. I hate when I got a rush, but it's all good. It said, knowing this first, that there should come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust. And that's the thing. That is the most important thing of this scripture, lust. The reason that people don't take heed is because they love the lust that they love. They love the lust that they love. <laughs> Anyways, they love what they like to do, man. And if it caters to the flesh, if it feels good to them. See, they don't want to hear constructive criticism. They don't want to hear rebuke. They don't want to be reproved. They don't want to repent because they love the lust that they are in. All right. It feels good unto them and saying, where's the promise of his coming? That that's mocking right there. That's scoffing right there. Because the scripture says in Matthew um, 24, matter of fact, we're going to get that. I'm going to end it on that. And saying, where's the promise of his coming? For since the father fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning creation. Because the Lord said this, and I'm going to end it on this because I got to go. So it says, now learn a parable of the fig tree when it, when his um, branch is yet tender and put it forth leaves, you know that summer is not. So likewise, when you shall see all these things, know that it is near even at the doors. What is near? Your salvation. What What is he comparing? The prophecies. The Lord told the disciples 2,000 years ago what to look for. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. So everything haven't been fulfilled yet. And since everything haven't been fulfilled, you think, okay, oh, they've been talking about the end of the world, man. It ain't going to happen in my lifetime. I'm going to turn up. YOLO, you only live once. Man, you're going to be sadly mistaken. All right, so the warning been going out, man. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Shalom.